Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to decipher the strategy for oral radiology. Oral radiology is one of the shortest subject we can say, and that's going to fetch you a lot of marks. Almost six to seven questions can be expected directly from the oral radiological aspects. And uh, this can be considered as an easy subject because you are dealing with this subject from your day to day dentistry, right from the third year itself, you are dealing with the radiographs. You know the technique of the radiographs, what is intraoral radiography, how extraoral uh, radiography is differentiated from intraoral, what are the different artifacts, right? And what are the uh, normal anatomical features of the uh, jaw, we can say, while taking the radiograph, as well as you should know the abnormal features to diagnose the different conditions. So there are certain specific conditions, for example, coat and wool uh, appearance, we say, we say uh, onion peel, uh, appearance then there are certain appearance which is like uh, uh, you have the Coleman's triangle so these are certain specific diagnostic features which are pertaining to certain disease and you should have a grasp on these features because if they are going to ask any question in your exam they will be giving a striking feature for that particular disease okay so radiological features are important right and for different pathologies also the radiological features play a very important role then second thing you should know the basics the basics behind the radiology so right from the beginning of the discovery of this particular uh, x-ray radiations you should know the year you should know who discovered when and uh, you should also know uh, the basics the basic physics behind this uh, how the x-ray tube works what is cathode what is anode uh, what is uh, molybdenum curves uh, all these things you should remember uh, not a lot of questions are asked from the fundamentals of the x-ray tube in the recent three years but yes uh, this is good to read and if a uh, question is asked that will be a throw away to you right so certain other important things which you should remember from the radiological aspect is your artifacts because you should know what is the rear pathology and what are the artifacts so uh, another thing anatomical as i've already told the correct anatomy most of the people are not knowing the correct anatomy of that uh, uh, of the, uh, the anatomical features okay so we have given the image based questions uh, in the radiology where we have discussed a lot of anatomical features also so all these things you should remember while trying to deal with your radiology so i'll just try to uh, give you an overview of the radiology paper uh, generally a uh, lot of case based questions are coming and they are interlinked with the radiological features as well as your uh, histological features so that was the reason why we gave you oral pathology and you should do the oral pathology before coming to radiology because a lot of questions maybe 80 to 90 percent of the questions are case based or we can say the pathology based okay so they'll be giving you certain histopathological features certain radiographic features and then they'll be asking you a diagnosis or something so Another important thing you should know about the newer modalities, what are the CT scans, what are the MRI, what is CBCT, these are certain theoretical questions which can be asked from this uh, radiology subject. So if we see the analysis of the previous years from the uh, oral radiology, so we see the questions which came from this subject were uh, 11 in 2016, 9 in 2017, 8 in 18, 9 in 19 last year it was 2020 uh, in 2020 it was 7 and in 2021 this recent exam there were eight questions which were asked from oral radiology these are not the direct questions these are interlinked with some cases okay and some direct cases uh, questions can be expected from the newer modalities the ct scan the uh, mri uh, on the basis of voxels they can ask right so cbct also they can ask uh, basically uh, questions will be more applied uh, in the exams like NEET and INICT from radiology. Now coming to the books for radiology. So for oral radiology, uh, the standard book is of course White and Faro. Uh, the South Asian edition is there as well as you can read the original White and Faro. Okay, so uh, that is a really brilliant book in which all the pathologies are given with the uh, details uh, of the pathologies and how you can diagnose these and differentiate these pathologies from other similar looking pathologies. So uh, this is really a very good 
book to uh, like get a grasp on oral pathology basically the pathological aspects of the oral pathology i must say then another important thing uh, which is given in uh, this particular book is the biological effects of the radiations that can be read from this book another important thing, thing is the fundamentals right the fundamentals of the uh, x-ray radiation what are electromagnetic waves who discovered x-rays how cathode works how anode works uh, what is kvp what is mini ampere all these things okay and what are the effect of these uh, kvp and amperes on the intensity and density all these physical or we can say the phys uh, physics aspect of these uh, radiation is discussed very beautifully in the white and ferro uh, I must say uh, extra oral radiography and uh, you know uh, your uh, uh, what we call that artifacts right. So these are given uh, uh, in a better way in the uh, Indian author book that is Franny and Kodjorka. You can also refer those for at least these two topics. So we have compiled the important information from White and Farrow and of course Franny and Kajorkar uh, in our bites and we have made it uh, very short and only the important aspects have been highlighted which can be asked in the exam. So as I have already discussed about the radiation physics, the introduction to EM uh, waves who discovered uh, uh, your x-rays and all when it was discovered all are given in this then your factors that affect the quality and quantity of the x-ray how quality and quantity of the x-ray depend on the uh, your uh, this thing film as well as your x-ray tube right so how kvp is affecting it how uh, milliamperes or the intensity is affecting so all these things are given in the uh, this particular byte then the density and filters all these things are discussed then biological effects of radiation since x-rays or other radiation come with their hazards also there are dangers associated with this so how uh, like uh, what should be the minimum uh, like uh, or maximum exposure to the uh, professional what should be the maximum exposure to the uh, patient what should be the recommended protocols for a pregnant patient all these things are discussed here in the biological effects what are the organs which are affected with the radiation all these things you should know as the fundamentals because your patients will be coming to you you will have to do the x-rays and you should know what are the hazards and you should know what are the precautions to get a, a like a smooth practice right then other things uh, that like osteoradionecrosis this is one topic from which at least one question is asked uh, recent uh, like in all the um, recent three years exams so this is something which we have to remember then types of film this is a very hot topic for your INICET so all these things which are important for different exam perspective we have compiled these from the Indian author books as well as the standard books to give you a complete uh, solution or one stop solution to that particular topic now coming to the most important aspect of this video that is the most frequently asked topics uh, in the recent examination so these are the tasks which are must do and these have to be done uh, before like uh, you claim that you have got a complete grasp on your uh, radiology so the task here are first thing is the basic radiation physics which i have uh, already discussed that the basic radiation physics in which the electromagnetic waves the properties of the x-rays then uh, who discovered x-rays the properties of anode the properties of cathode the properties of materials which are used for anode and cathode um, all these are generally discussed then we have the biological if effects of the radiation so now there can be uh, biological effects of the radiation on the tissue on the uh, person so that has to be taken care of which tissues are more uh, or organs are more uh, prone to the radiation effects which are lesser prone which are resistant to the radiation effect all these are discussed here and then after knowing the biological effects of the radiation you should know what are the radiation safety and protection protocols right so of course radiation are going to affect adversely to some of your organs so how you can get a uh, like you can save yourself from your these all these uh, radiation effects being a professional right so if you are a dentist you cannot avoid taking x-rays but yes there has to be certain protocols which have to be followed to uh, minimize any of the biological effects right now coming to the other radiographic part where there will be extra oral radiography now in the extra oral radiography you will have uh, different extra oral films for if i just talk about the head and neck area then there is a water's view 
right there are various uh, pharyngeal views the transpharyngeal views transorbital views so all these are extra oral even opg comes in the extra oral so all these things you have to remember as well as ct scan mri cbct these are also extra oral techniques so all these are discussed in part 1 and part 2 so you have you should have a very good grasp on these because nowadays newer technologies like ct scan mri are being asked fundamentals on those are generally asked and they can also ask about the specific views for example water view is used for your maxillary sinus then you have smv other other views also right jug handle views and all can be taken care here in the extra oral radiographic part itself now types of films and artifacts now here will be most commonly discussing the intra oral films which type of film is what size there is size 0 size 1 2 3 4 then uh, there are other types of occlusal films and all and we should know the sizes as well as the application of these films as well as there is uh, different speeds of the film right so d e f what are the different properties of uh, this type of film which is having best contrast best uh, visuality which is uh, having less uh, biological hazards all that we have to understand from the types of film at the same time we should know the artifacts so that we do not mistake these things as certain abnormalities so you should have a good grasp on the artifacts also then x-ray film processing and artifacts again so now there are certain uh, methods or certain protocols for the processing of the x-ray films and if you do not process it well that can result in certain artifacts also so these artifacts which are basically related to the processing these are discussed uh, separately in this particular task then of course intraoral radiography and projection geometry so you should know what should be the angle for which type of technique for example there are several techniques like paralleling technique then bisecting technique so you should understand uh, the difference as well as the implication the application as well as the correct angulation for these then we have the most important part that is radiographic diagnosis now this is going to carry most of your uh, uh, questions from the exams like INICT or NEET so if seven questions are asked at least four will be minimum four will be from the radiographic diagnosis that's why we have given you oral radiology image and case based questions where you'll have to you'll be dealing with a lot of cases a lot of images and that will help you to get a good grasp on the uh, diagnosis part and of course after that after completing all these tasks uh, almost 90 percent of your syllabus is there uh, which can be asked in the need and then you can go with the oral radiology full syllabus test so these are the important tasks which you have to master and i believe that uh, this will cover almost complete syllabus for you and uh, nothing more beyond this is needed it is recommended that you do this subject after oral pathology uh, one reason is that oral pathology uh, you are already familiar with a lot of uh, pathologies as well as you have seen certain radiographic diagnostic parts in the oral pathology and if you do it after the oral pathology oral radiology yes it will give break also after such a long subject oral pathology because this is uh, a subject which can be mastered hardly in three to six days right six days are enough for completing this uh, for the first time i can say and if you are a repeater hardly three days are required but yes uh, this is something that is going to fetch you a lot of marks with li limited efforts i must say so uh, you should have a good grasp on oral radiology i hope i have made the strategy clear for this particular subject still if you have any other queries or doubts you can comment in the comment box below if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to our channel and to get further notification for the upcoming videos hit the bell icon thank you